saw something uh, interesting in the city today. Had to drop Kieran off to the hairdresser. Yep. You dropped her off to the hairdresser. She's a good guy. I'm a good guy. And as I dropped her off, at the, the hairdresser, Ivan, who had been going for years, sticks down in the front. He goes, yeah, I like your Uber. And I said, i got to go. i got to pick up another client and drove off. Pretty funny. <laughs> Pretty funny. Anyway, I drove around the corner and there's this police station in the city right near Burke Street Mall. There's always these cop cars there. Oh, yeah. Heaps of cop cars. Trouble. Like six cop cars because they positioned themselves there. And um, a guy walks out, right? And they're proper police cars. They're not like, you know, they've got all not, the, not, yeah, the wheel ones, the trouble. Yeah, they've got the, all the, the, the stickers and the sirens. Plate walks out. I've got to say, he looked a bit like me, a bit overweight, wearing a hoodie, very unkept, jeans, runners, opens up police car, gets in and drives off. I'm like, wow. Well, he's he, undercover, obviously. Is he undercover? Yes. Gee, he did a good job. He looked really not like a cop. <laughs> You know when most cops look like cops? Whenever you meet cops out of uniform, they, I mean, the, the weird oh, part is you go, wow. You can often tell. I can oh, some t- cops you can tell. You can pick them in an audience you, sometimes. Oh, can you? Yeah, they, I did. They, um, they sit a bit more upright, do they? Yes. Yeah. Short hair. Yeah. Well presented. I did one in, um, God, where was I? The River, the River Club in Echuca or somewhere. And hello to anyone who's been affected by the floods up there. It's yeah. terrible. The River Club, That's that would be definitely. It's a golf club. It was a golf club. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, yeah. Um, there was a guy sitting very upright. And short hair, and and I said, "Are you like a? Ah, oh, you're a cop." And they all, everyone cheered because oh, everyone knew him. Yeah, in the you're, audience. you're good at picking those those characters. Well, you know, someone who carries themselves and has short short hair is and often a yeah. cop. Or and the, the uniform that that's a the uniforms give way. <laughs> <laughs> Why aren't you out catching criminals, mate? <laughs> Do you ever think you could be undercover though? You'd be undercover. Oh, well, I, 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 I was I was part of a sting. I told you that story. What? Well, I, t- I think I told you before where I was down the beach one day and I saw this guy with a camera with a long lens taking inappropriate photographs of people on the beach. Right. And you can uh, tell they were inappropriate because... He shared it, them with you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you getting there, mate? Oh, that's a good one. Um, and I'm going that... Yeah. And they were, it, was, it was young young people uh, r- right in front of it. And we were up on the path a, Away from the beach. And you, you go, and you told the cops. I rang the police. I go, is this inappropriate? Is it appropriate for someone to have a long lens taking photographs of young people on the beach? And it was young girls, and right. and and boys. Uh, and I tried to get him. To, um, they, so yeah. did you hang around and distract him? The cops said, keep him there. Keep, I, do I, whatever I, you can I, to keep I, him there, Glenn. I it was there, um, and I, I said, look, he's doing it. He's right there now. And I told him the spot. Then I'm standing there watching, him going, oh, you dirty. Um, and Maybe then the, he was like a twitcher watching the wildlife, the birds. Yeah, but I, I, that's no what birds. I thought he was doing. Yeah, uh, I thought he was paparazzi chasing me. Actually. Yeah, of course. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, and <laughs> new uh, Kath and Kim show. Coming yeah, can't out. say anything. Don't leave me alone. Bit of private time, please. You know, seriously. Oh, you're not taking me. Um, and then these the he was doing it, and I didn't want to say anything to him because I didn't yeah. want to start a kerfuffle. And then these three people walked up to him, just wearing bathers and towels around their neck and a little hat and everything. And uh, I've got, oh, at least those guys have stopped him from what he was doing. And they were the police. And they were the cops. They were underco- undercover. Undercover, walking down the beach with their towels and with their shorts on. Just looked like people at the beach. And then one of them in their shorts with their, with their towel around comes over to me and goes, uh, are you the one that uh, reported? Would you like to make a statement? Or, oh, oh, it's Russell Coit. Um, would you like? And I went, mate, I've done my, my work here is yeah. done. I don't want to have to yeah. be involved. I Do you reckon they were there then? They must have been around. How long? They were, they, I reckon they patrol the beaches. This is in summer, obviously. They patrol the beaches and you don't know they're there. Oh. And it's something unto. And it's good to know. What sort of bathers? Were, they were wearing blue bathers? Or? Yeah, blue and white. And, um, <laughs> little siren on their head. Yeah, little sirens and, and the uh, little flashing batons, light. of course. And, uh, and well, did they just look like normal swimmers? Yeah, it's just like the three people at the beach. There was, but there was a was there the fat sergeant? With yeah, the there gun? was a couple of big guys and a girl. It was four of them. There were four of them. Four of them. Yeah, was a girl in a bikini. Yeah, she look. They looked like normal people, <laughs> and you know, fair enough. Too. The guy tries to run. A guy <laughs> rocks up on a surfboard. Stop right there. Because I used to do a bit of stand up about the police dressing up as. Um, t- tell me if this is inappropriate. Where the police are trying to catch people um, engaging prostitutes on the street. Yes, and. Yes. Um, and the only problem is that the police looked like uh, so they would dress up as prostitutes and try. Oh, to get, they used to do this all the time. Yeah, yeah, and um, except they had, didn't sure quite they... Ha, didn't quite have the lingo down. No, because the guy would wind the window again. G'day, sweetheart. What's on offer? Uh, the penis will take and be taken from the aforementioned uh, trousers and stroked in a north south direction. 
whereupon an orgasm will occur, and you will pay me a set amount of money. Uh, the which aforementioned will, time yeah. of the uh, appropriate occasion. <laughs> oh. What happened? Did they take this guy away? Well, I I didn't want, but they were just talking to him, and I thought I'm best if I get get away now because yeah. he he eyeballs me. Yeah, that's that guy. I'll Dot get you, mate. I'll, I'll take a photograph of you, you now. I'll get you. I'll get you, Bikey. I'll do this. I'll do time, but I'll get out again and I'll come and find I'll stab you. you. Yeah. So anyway, I did my duty. In a yeah, very good. Yeah. Very good. Well, you kind of otherwise, this. Yeah, no. Wow. Um, why are All we right. talking about that? Oh, I just saw a guy undercover. Oh, but, so we but, haven't even played the music yet. Oh, here it comes. Somehow related now, please welcome your hosts, Glenn Robbins and Dave O'Neill. Well, welcome to the show. It's called Somehow Related, this podcast, and you've got to work out how these two topics are related. Should we get the topics, or why not? I, I think so. What are they, Sam? Juggling in ancient Chinese warriors. So are there non-ancient tr- Chinese warriors? Are they just Chinese warriors? Are they, so uh, she means we're going back BC. Like so samurai that, kind of. I mean, that's Japanese, but, you know, that kind of. The, and the, you know, the, the, you know that picture of the Chinese warriors? And they wear that well, armor. That, what about, are they like the, terry, the terracotta ones? Yeah, probably. They're modeled on that, I assume. So they've got the armor. They've got the, the probably, it's probably like BC. It would be. It wouldn't. Yes. Be, yeah. Yes. It'd be, you know, um, and there was no. I don't. There were no guns. It was all swords. Swords and, and, and shields yeah. and, and and smash. Have you been to China? No. I've been, been to Chinatown. Been, been to Chinese oh. restaurant. <laughs> it's pathetic. Terrible. That is pathetic. God, I figure so, I have. I've been to Chinatown. So, Sam Pang lot. does this great bit in his stand up where he asks, What's your favourite Chinese dish? Yeah. And he's got all these responses, yeah, you know, yeah. special fried rice, blah, blah. Yeah. Every time I'm there with him, I always try and stuff him up and I yell out, Pad Thai! It's like, <laughs> Mate, that's not, that, who's that? That's not even from China. <laughs> I was here the other night and someone yelled out, Dim Sims. It's like, oh. <laughs> Very funny. Uh, um, um, uh, so, what can we say? About, I've never been to China. I've been to Vietnam, which borders China, but I've never been to China. Um, uh, well, it's, it's can you go to China? Of course you can. But you, anywhere in China? Oh no, yeah. No. If saying, you want to go where like the Uyghurs are, which is like the the Muslim, um, I've been to Hong Kong. People. Does that count? That counts. Yeah, now. that's you've got closer to China than me. Yeah, there you go. Yes, it's been in a hotel room. You know, did you walk around Hong Kong? Yeah, it was back in the day. Before did you do a travel show? I did a, docu- I did a pilot for a travel show to look at Hong Kong before it was passed back. Did we ever see this pilot? No. Is it somewhere in the oh, yeah. archives? It was pretty good too. Well, I'd love to see that. Yeah, it was pretty good. A lot of steps in Hong Kong? A lot of steps? Yeah, not that I remember. Huh. Yeah. Small apartments? Yeah, I did a lot of, a lot of good food, a lot of oh, office yeah. buildings, a lot of people. And I, for some reason, I did a joke, yeah, because a lot of people walking on the streets. A lot of those big crossings. Yeah. And I'm, I said, you know what there's not enough of in China? Wow. Skipping. Yeah. And I skipped down the road amongst the crowds. And it looked quite funny. Yeah. That's as good as it got. And I went with the races, the happy... The happy oh, the, racing's big in Hong Kong. Hey, the happy... Cl- yeah, I don't know. But happy Valley or something, is it? Racing's oh. big. Yeah. Um, a lot of good restaurants. Got a suit made. I uh, went to a coffin shop and did the ultimate wrong thing. I tapped a coffin. Shouldn't oh. tap a coffin in a coffin shop. You meant just look at them. But it's a coffin shop. And all the coffins are there. And you get one made up. Well, They've got a suit made. Uh, oh, yeah. It's a cla- you can do that in Vietnam too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, I know with the racing, a lot of the Australian jockeys go over there and make a lot of money over make there. Make a lot of money. I yeah. Mean, you know. Yeah. Cash. But, what? Oh, what? What? You can only bring 10000 back though, can't you? Oh, jockeys, where, where are they going to put it? <laughs> do they have little... Oh, that's, I can't say. That's being... Hey, that's, Glenn, don't say no, that about but, us. Yeah, but they would have smaller suitcases so they could get... Would they have smaller suitcases? They'd have big, they could have a big suitcase. Sorry. Yeah. Gee, you know what makes me angry? Uh oh. When I walk down a plane, I see like a jockey type Grant Denyer sitting in the extra leg room. Oh, God. <laughs> Get out of there, mate. It's Get out wa- of there. It's a waste. Get yeah. out of there, Grant. Yeah. We so don't need he does that. a bit of routine about we hate seeing babies at the beach because he goes, Your baby at the beach, what are you having a break from? Just lying sleeping all day? You don't need to come down here and relax. You, that's <laughs> what you do. You just relax. 
<laughs> I don't know who does that. It's a good bit. It's yeah. a good routine. Um, okay, so, okay, a- so Asian China. No, to answer you, you can't go everywhere in China because you know there's the Uyghurs who. Because I know because my son did the in year twelve. The Uyghurs. They're like a Muslim. Know, they're a Muslim group of people who are persecuted by the Chinese. So it's pretty bad what they do to them. Because I read all about it because I had to help my son do VCE. They they do all this stuff. They knock down their mosques and they rebuild them, but they rebuild them smaller. Mm. It's tricky, isn't it? But so they, they do rebuild them. Well, eventually, mm. yeah. And they put people in camps where you got to learn about the Chinese way of life, you know, not not their way of life. So, so much- I mean, you look at China, it's such a big country. Oh. There must be at least 20 different types of people in China. You know what I mean? Surely they can't all be the, the same. So big, like Russia, it's so big. Yeah, that's, anyway. uh, yeah, it's countries within countries. Oh, I reckon. Yeah. Oh, Australia's yeah. a bit like that. I mean, you go to different parts of Australia, oh. you feel like you're in another country. You go to Queensland. You go. Oh, to, you go. Oh, Alice Northern, Springs. Northern, Alice Springs. Northern Territory. Yeah. 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 Not, 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 not that there's yeah. anything wrong with that. As in, I'm not having a go at those people. Oh, it's great. But it's a different way of life. Of a different climate. Different. Everything's different. So therefore, you know, it's a different lifestyle. Life, it is. Way of living. If you were like a warrior. Mm. You know, I think we talked about this before about, this sounds horrible, but dim sims were created because of the convenience of, in the mines, wasn't it? They invented them in Australia. So, is that right? Oh, it, I don't know. It was on this show. It was on this very dim, show. Dim sum were, um, like, yeah. were from, were from China. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, 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 yeah. If you're a wa- Oh, you're right, in the gold rush. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, the gold rush. Yeah, yeah sorry. What, yeah. What, if you're a warrior, what are you going to take with you? Do you have? Do you take food with you? snacks? What would they? Do? What would they? How would they? I reckon they would just take rice. Do they? Have, they hydrate. They have water and water. Water, rice, millet. I believe. What's millet? A uh, grain. Yeah. I, I don't know. I just because sometimes I watch movies, or even war movies. I go, "What did you have for breakfast?" Well, they if they're like in the American or Australian army, they have rations. My dad used to bring them home occasionally from the. So Air Force. in their pack, they would have. Yeah, great. But how many days would they would they last on a? Maybe oh, they, yeah. So they go out to the thing and then come back. Obviously, Dad this, bought this some supply. home ones and they were all like in foil. Was, this was like in the 70s or the 80s. They're all sealed up and they're quite tasty, some of them. Oh, really? Yeah, you just bite into like a... Remember we had like that space bars when we were kids. But yeah, he put out some rations once for us to eat. A bit like airline food. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. A little bit. You know, hey, I read something the other day. This is interesting. You know, airline food, you know your taste, bu- your, your taste buds are reduced by 50, 30% on an aeroplane. Wow. So that's why aeroplane food doesn't taste so good. Oh, is that why? <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind aeroplane food. I, I don't mind it either. I read the other day that, you know why they dim the lights in the cabin? Why? Because it's getting ready in case there's an incident. Because if, if some if some crap's going to go down, it's going to go dark. So it's getting your eyes used to it. I, I saw that on the internet. You heard of the internet? Yeah, it's on there. So you're getting your eyes ready, yeah. acclimated, yeah. to the because le- the lights are going to go out. Yeah, they're going to go out. They're going out. Masks yeah, that, are dropping they, down. They're going out. They should announce that as the, when they put the lights down. Yeah. We now put the lights down in case we, we crash. And you know why you have to put the tray tables up? That brings the wheels down. <laughs> <laughs> classic. Yeah. What's the um, other, other classic? The guy getting on the plane is a bit nervous. Yeah, yeah. He goes, oh, if, if we've got it meant to us to fly, he would have given us wings. Yeah, that, that was the pilot saying that. <laughs> and, that uh, and then he goes, uh, how, how often do these things crash? Oh, just the once. <laughs> um, so, where are we? Uh, we're talking about Chinese warriors. I reckon a Chinese warrior. You know what would be good to take to a belt? A banana. Gee, be good to have a banana. See, that's where, the, that's where nature is so good. Bit of energy comes in its or own an packet. Apple. An apple would be good. Not pineapple. a mandarin. Not a, not a pineapple. Not nothing. Not a pineapple. No, not a pineapple. It could be used as a weapon. Um, what sort of weapons did they have? They would have had swords. Yeah, they would have had swords. Bows and arrows. I can yep, bow and arrow yep, action. Yeah, maybe a stick with a thing, a thing on the end oh, to bang people over yeah, the head with. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, because it, uh, it's all it will be on their belt, sort of thing, wouldn't it? Yeah, like a utility belt. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Stab, stab, and I assume the battles would be just. I wonder if they were just like in fields. You know what I mean? Like, I'm trying. I'm thinking of that movie with Matt Damon in it. Matt Damon did like a Chinese warrior movie. And they had big battles in fields. Because they were peasants, weren't they? They would have been peasants. Uh, the peasants and they were, yeah. I think they liked Army Reserve. Oh, were they? Yeah, so it's kind of like you're a farmer, 
but here's your outfit. Yeah. Anything happens. Stick it on. Stick it on. We'll head over the hill and take the guys on, but then you can oh. go back to your farming another day. But if you had money, you automatically became an officer, I think. Wow. And so, the, the, I mean, the Chinese, the Great War was obviously made to stop the hordes, wasn't it? That's why they made it, to stop, you know, stop people. Stop people what? Well, stop the warriors running up and, I don't know. Taking but, over. Also, that apparently it was made for um, trade, so they could push everyone through the same gate and tax them. Uh, it's all about money. And you know what? As we go through history, we always liked a bit of a fight. Bit of a fight, and we and we love money. Money love makes money, it all go and around. we love a bit of it. We, and do we want to take land? And as the indigenous people say, you can't own the land. You don't own the land. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Well, we do. Own, we, I mean, you know, I've got a beach house. Do I not own that? Is it not mine? Or well, the bank owns it? Actually. But in reality, but in the long term, no. Oh, in the short True. term, yeah, yeah, short term, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's owned by everyone, yeah, except for that bloke down the road who annoys you. Wants yeah. to come around for a cup of coffee on the Thursday. He can't come over. He can't come over. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, let's talk about juggling. Let's you know talk what? about. Juggling. We had the, the kids bought this um, during the lockdown. These this game where that you, you ask everyone the same question. It was yeah. really good. Like, <laughs> what country would you go to now if you could go anywhere in the world? Yeah, where would you go? Oh, right now? Yeah, right now. Oh, it's raining in Melbourne. I'd probably go to Paris. Oh, good answer. I don't know where I'd go. I want to go to Sweden or something like that. Somewhere I've never... I've been to Paris. Yeah, I've been to Paris. Yeah, you like Paris. Great, mm-hmm. great place. Um, good food. Um, and also, and the question came up, what skill would you like to have that you can't do? And I said straight away, juggling. Oh, did you? Yeah. And they all laughed. And I said, seriously? I said, I've been to so many gigs where I've thought, if I could juggle... I could win this crowd over. I did a gig in a park in Kalgoorlie for the open cut miners, right? Yeah. Admittingly, they had the park to themselves. They'd fenced it off. And I, and it was, gee, it was just pretty random. But you but you win them over anyway. Yeah, but it's, oh, sometimes things are so scattered. You know what I mean? Like the crowd is standing. The nearest person was 20 metres away. And if you could just go down there in the front with some balls, maybe a chainsaw. Remember the guy would yeah, juggle with a yeah. chainsaw? Yeah, Marty Coffey. Oh, yeah, but Marty Coffee, very oh, Marty yeah, American. Coffee. Marty Coffee, wasn't it? He yeah. would juggle a chainsaw, a bowling ball, and a kitten. Wow, really? No, I, I know. Yeah, I think so. But and it's then, true. I, and an egg. I I wish I could do that at some gigs. I did a gig last night for what well, they were like <laughs> engineers, <laughs> surveyor, surveyors. <laughs> The guy that introduced me was a surveyor, and I got the mic stand. I handed him the, the pole. I go, "Do you want to hold that stick? You're used to that, aren't you, mate? Hold the stick for me over there." <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> and then I go, well, "What's the stick called? Hasn't the stick oh, got good. a really good? The, yeah, the really stick, the lining up stick. With the, the, yeah, the, the, this thing up the other end. Yeah, they, they, yeah. And yeah. the guy just you know, goes, "This has got a huge laugh." I go, "Hasn't it got a special word? The stick?" And this guy goes, "It's called a pole." <laughs> And then I go, oh, okay, what's the camera thing called? Do you know what the camera thing is that they use? To look to- a, a cyclogram. Very, an otolite. Otolite. Yeah. yeah, very close. Which must be something to do with Horizon or something to do with, the, um, what do you call it, parallel? Yeah. Um, oh, but I always say, I've done surveys before and I always go, is there an argument who holds the stick and who does the otolite? Yeah. And is that a hierarchy thing? Yeah. Like the young bloke's holding the stick, isn't he? Or a young girl. They're holding the stick. And all they're doing is they get a bit left, a bit down yeah. a bit, up a bit, down a bit, cross a bit. Stop, it's a stop. weird job, isn't it? Yeah. But they've got to be very precise. Yeah. So if, you, if they get it wrong, oh. the house is going to slide down the hill. Very true. Mm. And, you know, like the path in the front of our house, it's got a bit of a skew if in it because it's sunk in the in the ground. Um, but So it means when you walk up our path, you feel like you're having a stroke. Um, oh, really? No, you don't really. But, but, uh, but listen, I... I laughed because you might try juggling. Yeah. It might be heroin for you. You might give up oh. the comedy. You may, you may, you may. Could be. Yeah. You, you'd be like, do you hear what happened to Dave? What? Okay, I'll, I'll stop this podcast. I'll never see you again. Then you'll be driving down St. Kilda. Yeah. You'll see me on the foreshore. Yeah, yeah. You know, chuck him a ball. Oh, he's really there. good. He's good. He's doing five balls down in a tennis racket. Uh, cruise ships. I'll be on the yeah. cruise ships. Is he earning a lot of money? No, not really. <laughs> but it's his passion. Yeah. Um, I must admit, I can see what you're saying because at heart we're all little children. So if you do something with colour and movement, you oh, do draw the eye straight away. Definitely. Um, if you're walking down the street and there's a busker and he's doing juggling, you go, oh, I'll watch for a minute. Oh, and absolutely. And he'll get you in and you'll go, and you'll, you'll go there's something I can't do. Um, well, I'm, I mean, 
Des Dowling is another comedian. He told me that he learned to juggle one day when he hurt his leg. I know he couldn't move for a while. Yeah. He said, just watch a YouTube tutorial and you can learn how to oh, do it. You, you can. And if you want to learn, yeah. watch the tutorial with three balls, right? Yeah. But do it with hankies because the hankies don't drop as quickly as a ball. Oh, wow. So you get the movement right. Or not, yeah, hankies, yeah. Should but I learn how to juggle? But, yeah, uh, but not Should ones you blow your nose in, not, not those ones. <laughs> no, no. Ones that, you know, the clean ones. Or the ones beside the bed. No. Yeah, no, no, no. Not ironed ones. Ones not that are sort of just a proper hanky. Remember mum used to iron the Yankee and hand you one? I still, I... You still have a hanky, don't you? Yeah, but I don't iron it. And when I do, I must admit, it's a good feeling. What do you do? What do you do if you're out and you get a runny oh, nose? Tissues. But, but we're, we're here now. There's no tissues around here. No, you're right. I have to hold on until I get in my car. There's tissues in my car. Oh, okay. Um... So that's juggling, interesting. When would it, okay, where did it start? Oh, the Egyptians juggled. What are they? What do they juggle? No, they used to juggle because there's, there's. I've seen pictures of um, like you know, the classic Egyptian pharaoh types juggling. They juggle, and it would have been. I think it was. I think they thought it was. I think it was magic. Hacky sacks. Know. It would have been like hacky sacks. Yeah, no, it would have been like hacky sacks. I think mummified cats. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I mean, because you would imagine that it'd be like a bit of stone. Some sort of, but it would. Well, they slept on stone pillows, so know. you know there, there must have been um, maybe the rocks, bits of rock. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, I you know, I want, um, and then, things were harsher back then. But what are the what are the things that they juggle in modern day now? Balls, balls, hacky sack things, flaming sticks. Oh yeah, flaming Knives. sticks. And sometimes you got to make sure you don't. Grab the wrong end of the flaming oh, stick. Oh, no, yeah, of course. Because then you would burn your hands. So that makes it more... Uh, tennis rackets? Bowling pins. Oh, pins, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pins. Right. Um, hacky sacks, balls, big balls. Bits of fruit. That's what I mean. See, if I could learn how to juggle, I could turn up, I could be juggling, get things out of the crowd. I'll give me some iPhones. I'll juggle some iPhones. You know what oh, would You don't want to drop them, though. You would do your juggling. Yeah. Dro- yeah, you wouldn't want to drop the iPhones. Do your juggling, then do your bit of stand-up. Yeah. And then you come back on and end on the juggling. No, well, when you do your next bit, you go and do a bit of stand up. They go, go back to the juggling. <laughs> <laughs> you stand come up. Come on, shit. juggle boy. Come on, do it a favor. Yeah, do another one. Juggle this. What are they juggling the books? Oh yeah, juggling the books is a good saying. Juggling the books. Have you ever had a, had a, an accountant that's gone? Hey, here's a dodgy thing you can do. No. Here's my theory. If you're just going in, here's my theory on accountants and juggling. Be aggressive with a conservative conservative account. Oh, it's a good idea. As opposed to being, um, as opposed to going with a dodgy um, one, be aggressive with a with a conservative. Well, and don't talk about tax avoidance. Talk about tax minimization. Yes, that's what they talk. If about. If they go, it's a bit grey. Just beware mm. when they say it's a bit grey. Haven't you? Didn't you want to invest in the, the deer gray, farm? The grey area. Yeah. Well, you know, um, juggling is part of street performing, isn't it? Really. And you know what I noticed in London when I went there? There's a lot of street performers over there. A lot. And very good ones too. Yeah, but they're also at like, they have microphones and speakers now. And so you'll go to say something like Nelson's Column or something like that. And you're trying to admire this architectural oh, feat. The background. And there's be like, oh, hello everyone. Okay, move up closer. Get your 20, 20 pound notes out. Here we go, Governor. Watch oh, this, oh, Kenny. Oh, oh. Watch this. Here yeah, we talk go. about the lack of serenity. Jesus yeah. Christ. Mate, right, tone it down a bit. Keep it Shut down. Up. People trying to do a bit of a historical walk here. But, We're you re-stepping know, look, Jack the Ripper's. We, we want to learn about a murder over here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But, you, you know, know, a lot of, I mean, a lot of comedians start off as street performers, like the Doug Anthony All Stars. They were street performers. Oh, were they? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, what about the tripod? Would they, they would have been. I don't know if they did street performing. Uh, There's a few, and a few bands started off as street performers. Um, oh, who, who, who started off as street performers? Beatles? Have, no, I don't think they did street performing. The Monkees? No, they were like put together. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, um, why can't I get just one kiss? That band. They were street performers. Do you know them? No. You know, I've seen them live. They're a great band. I only remember their name. Um, all right, so have we covered off juggling? Well, I think we've covered off enough. Yeah, juggling. Yeah, I'd love to juggle. Ancient Chinese warriors. What thinking music can we have? Oh, that maybe um, the samurai. Oh, the samurai. The samurai is Japanese, isn't it? That's Japanese. Because um, that was a TV show in the sixties. Yes. Um, uh, could we? Oh God, we could. Uh, what do we? Why don't we play some? Ancient Chinese war music, and we'll be two warriors walking off to war. How do you mean? Like, so we play some. Is, is there a thing like called Chinese war music? Is yeah, there? of course. Yeah, yeah. 
What is it? Sort of atmospheric stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And because then... we'll be just two average. We're both farmers, but now we've been called up for duty. Yeah, okay. All right. All right. And we're, and okay. We're, so today's give, day one. Day one. Give us a little d- 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 thing. Oh, g'day, Derek. How are you, mate? Hey, Johnny. Uh, how's the farming been going? Yeah, not too bad. The rice is coming along. It's well, quite intense, though, rice farming. It couldn't have happened at worst time. I must have to go off to battle because I've, I've got the pigs going and they're doing real good at the moment. And I got the call, as you did. Yeah. yeah we got to head off and I could not find my outfit. Your armour looking good, though. A bit, bit dusty. Yeah, a bit dusty. It's a bit, a little bit squeaky in the oh, Mine's arms a bit there. tight. Yeah. My bow and arrows, they were all a bit bent because oh. they, got, they got wet the other night. I said to the wife, can you sharpen my saw before I go? No, mate. Because I've got to take the kids to school. Exactly. You exactly. do it. Now, where do we go oh, down we this go. path? Oh, now, God. Do we go? Look at them all. Oh, all. G'day, g'day, Phil. Yeah. That's nice Jerry. Yeah. All right. Oh, what are those oh. terracotta ones over there? Oh, God. What are there? There's tons of them. What are so, they? So, get, let's get this straight. We've got to go over the wall and then take on the Mongolian hordes. Is that right? No, I think oh. we take on the Mongolian and then we go over the wall. Oh, we then take we take Mon- over the wall. That we go, it's Mongolians first and then over the wall second. Gee, yeah. this music's really building me up. You got, geez, hang on a second. Look at all those Mongolians over there. Is that, that's Genghis Khan. That's, on he's on the s- horse. Second? Yes. That's Barry. Barry. Hey, Barry. Barry. How are you? <laughs> what? Yeah, apparently we're going to... Yeah, we're going to have to come and have battle with you. Oh, my God. They're coming for us. Is it? Is the music going to build up? Hang on. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> we have to go with the music. <laughs> no. Barry, I'm sorry about this, mate. But we're... Should we charge? Yeah, okay. Actually, you know what? I've, I've left something with a farmer. I've got to go get it. i got to... Oh, do, do yeah. you? Yeah. 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 I, sure. um... I've got to... There's... Oh. <laughs> we got to go. All yeah, right. I, I left something at home as well. Yeah. Okay. See you, Barry. See ya. Come over good, later. Good luck. Yeah, all the best. Run! Wow, that was a great war no, scene. I don't know how we do that. I think, you oh, know, man. again, they should, the, the Smithsonian or however, whatever that they should take these tapes and... Um, they should. The kids should be learning from them. Anyway. Well, what's. Do you want to have a crack? What's the answer? I reckon. I reckon. This is really weird. But I reckon there's something to do with when they're in. You know, like there's the haka, which is really intimidating. Yes. I reckon maybe in battle they did some juggling with their swords or something. Oh. And. Sort of to intimidate, they're going, God, if you can juggle with your sword, what can you do? You probably lop my head off, you know, in one go. Yeah. So I reckon there's some juggling as a show off to intimidate the opposition before they went into battle. There you go, like the Huck. Wow. Um, I don't know. Yeah, what can I say? I reckon, I reckon you're right. I reckon juggling was a form of weaponry. Maybe that's where it came. You remember we did yo yo's? Yo yo's were a weapon in the Philippines. Well, I reckon juggling was a weapon uh, in the China. You look at the nunchucker. The yes. nunchucker is like a performance art piece, yes. but it's also whack you across the head with a bit of wood on and a bit of chain. Yeah, yeah oh. so I reckon we've got it. What is the answer, Sam? During a battle in about 603 BC between the states of Chu and Song, Zhang Yiliao stepped out between the two armies and juggled nine balls, distracting the Song troops long enough for the Chu army to launch a surprise attack. That's fantastic. Wow. You have been listening to Somehow Related with Glenn Robbins and Dave O'Neill. So he was like, like it was, it's a distraction, like you were saying when you with your stand up, mm. you you get galore and movement, and all of a sudden they use it as a decoy. To go and come in from behind or Politicians something. Politicians should do this on budget night. Oh, yes. Here, here's the budget and, uh, oh, my God, look. <laughs> Jim Chalmers is juggling. Juggling the balls. <laughs> juggling the books and juggling the balls. Oh, God. Uh. Uh.